hello everyone hope you are right in today's video i'm going to show you how to be composed in just two weeks so here you can see i have caught some shredded paper and some garden clippings so basically to make compost you need a source of brown material and a source of green material so brown material basically contains carbon or carbohydrates and the green material contains nitrogen or protein so basically the microbes utilize nitrogen in the green material which is basically garden waste or your kitchen waste um, these are the peels like vegetable peels uh, fruit peels you don't want to add anything which is cooked or fat or from animal source you don't want to add that you just want to add the things which are like from the plant source and basically they are the waste products which you would normally throw in the bin so you can use them here and the brown material is uh, basically carbon or carbohydrates which the soil worms like earthworms they utilize those materials and they break down them also brown material adds weight to the compost and adds air which help aerate the all the mixture so here you can see i'm using like kitchen waste like uh, orange peel banana peel onion peels potato peels and my garden waste basically i had reddish in this bed which was done so i pulled out all the plants and now i have added that plant waste in this compost pile so basically you don't want to add anything which is diseased if you had any pest infestation or there has there has been any fungal infection or microbial infection you don't want to include that stuff in your compost pile so basically i'm cutting the leaves chopping the leaves and cutting the peel so ideally you want to make sure that this stuff is very small so you can chop it as fine as possible so i'm chopping it so there are small materials in it not big materials because that will take long time to decompose and here in this video my goal is to accomplish this composting process as soon as possible ideally within 10 days or maximum 14 days Two weeks so here i have got shredded paper which is already very nice and fine so you can use cardboard so you can break it in little pieces or you can use like dried leaves which can be easily found in fall but i'm in the middle of summer and there are no many dried leaves at the moment so there are lots of brown waste material as well which you can include that thing is the rule is you need to make sure whichever brown based material or green material you are using you need to make sure that it is free of disease uh, it's small as small as possible in small pieces so it will decompose faster and there are no uh, like cooked materials or fats or animal products in it because that will crack the insects which you don't want to be in your um, compost pile here i'm gonna mix all this together so you can use layering technique where you make a thin layer of brown material and then a thin layer of green material and a thin layer of brown material and thin layer of green material so you can use that as well but here i'm going to mix everything together as much as possible so basically this is my raised bed there is soil underneath it uh, there i added some compost as well when i started my reddish plants and reddish plants uh, had been here for like uh, three months or so so normally reddish are very quick crop so you can harvest them very quickly like within a month but i let my reddish plants go bolting so they produced flowers and then they produced seed pods which i harvested so i We'll include the link in the description box if you are interested to check how what happens when the reddish plants go to seeds so basically you can see i here i have made this pile on the top of my raised bed and i'm mixing everything up 
so for this kind of file you need to make sure that it's like um, at least three feet wide uh, and uh, three to four inches high so it's uh, three feet wide and three to four inches high and then it will heat it heat up by the microbial process if it's too thin or like um, not the right size then it may not be that efficient so here i'm going to mix up everything and gather up so make sure making sure that it is at least three feet wide and three to four inches high so the second thing which is very important to get your composting fast is to add something which has sugar in it you can use molasses you can use anything which has sugar in it i am using sugar solution so i made this solution by adding like 10 teaspoons of sugar in two liters of water and i sh shook it really well and that's all basically so i'm going to add this uh, in this compost pile which will feed the micro microbes and then they will multi multiply and grow and consume all this green material so it will break down really fast if you don't add any sugar solution the process will still happen but it will be much slower so sugar is there to kick start the process so i have added this sugar solution and i'm going to mix it up again really well that sugar solution is everywhere and i'm going to make up my pile and then i'm going to water it really well so you want to make sure that it is nice and wet it's not like uh, the water should drain it's not like it's flooded with water and water sits there it's not like that the water should be free draining but everything should be nice and moist and then i will cover it with um, plastic bag and um, secure it in its place so nothing is like blown away in air and that's all basically i'm going to do this is the first day this is like monday today and i'm doing this process i'm mixing everything up adding the sugar solution adding enough water covering up everything and that's basically this is like hot composting so the air will get in and the sugar will feed the microbes and the microbes will get going and basically this composting process will be like hot composting and uh, this will be really really fast so i'll show you the next step so make sure to watch this video through end so because i'm going to uh, do this process like mixing everything to get the air in and adding some sugar solution and water after every two days so until it's everything is broken down so i'm going to show you all the steps i'm doing here another important point here is that i am doing this process on the top of my raised bed and it has already got soil in it and when i mixed up i made sure that i did mix some soil with this compost pile as well if you are doing this process in a bucket um, where there is no soil you do want to add at least a tablespoon of soil in that compost and mix it with your compost pile because that soil has hundreds and thousands of microorganisms so you need to introduce microorganisms in your compost pile so they will then start the process of breaking down and finally i want to make clear that i used green material and brown material in the ratio of two is to one so you will find different people say different things like uh, some say brown material and green material ratio should be like three is to one some say two is to one and some say one is to one or balanced so basically the thing is the brown material should be as much as the green material or more than the green material if the green material is more than the brown material then basically the there will be like rotting smell so they will start rotting and there will be like very much smell and the compost won't be nice and good as you want it to be so there should be more brown material than green material so mine is roughly like two is to one anything which is above one is to one is fine to me so here you can see i have mixed up everything really well i have made my pile wet it really well and now i'm covering it with this like um, this is bin bag so i'm going to cover it with this 
um, basically it will again retain the heat in and will help the things to break down and i'm going to put some weight on it so because it's very windy here where we live so the things can be easily blown away in wind so it's a good idea to put some weight on so that nothing is being blown away in the wind so this is my day one i have started my composting process and i'll see you after two days so this is after two days this is thursday and you can see i secure my bags by putting this compost bag on top of them so they are not blowing away and i first used a brick but that wasn't helping so then i put the compost bag on top of it so as you can see it's looking pretty good the things are changing color and looks like the process has started already so i'm going to mix up everything again like i told you the air is really important we want to aerate this mixture really well so the microbes need air and oxygen to live so like all human beings all animals need oxygen and air the microbes need that too and basically that microbes will multiply and consume all this green material and the earthworms in the soil will consume the brown material and by combined action this compost will be broken down really fast i'm also chopping down some big pieces in there to make sure that they are nice and small so they can be easily broken down you don't have to do that but my goal here is to uh, achieve this composting process in two weeks so i'm doing everything to help the process go faster i'm also going to add some sugar solution again to make sure that there is enough uh, food for the microbes and going to wet it again to make sure that it's nice and moist and then i'll cover it back and repeat the same process again after two days so i'm back after two days on sunday and i'm going to repeat the same steps again so here you can see it's already looking really nice uh, everything is composting really well and um, i'm going to mix up everything again so as you can see this is really nicely broken down at the bottom so when i bring that up there will be like microbes everywhere so it's really important to mix it up because the normally the microbial action will be happening at the bottom of the pile and when you mix up everything really well then basically microbes go all over the place and all the stuff is broken down at the same pace so after mixing up really well and making my pile again i'm going to wet everything really well so it's nice and moist and i'm going to cover it back again and then i will check it after two days and show you the progress so this is after two days this is wednesday and it's been 10 days i started this process and i'm going to see how everything is doing now so as you can see this is looking really nicely broken down basically if you want this compost to use as a mulch it's nice and ready now you can sieve it to separate the small parts and big parts from each other so then you can use this smaller finer compost for your seed starting and for potting up as well and you can let the bigger parts to break down further and if you just want to use it for the mulching process this is really nicely composted now but i want to plant my new crop in this raised bed and that's why i'm making this compost in this raised bed to revive the soil so basically the soil in this raised bed has like already been used for the crop i had already here like radish which is, belongs to brassica family and it's really heavy feeder so they use lots of nutrients from the soil and the compost so this is like my way of reviving the soil by making compost on top of that soil so basically this new compost will add lots of nutrients to the soil it will rejuvenate the soil and refresh it and will add all the nutrients which i need for the second crop so i'm going to let this 
decompose for few more days so i'm going to wet it again make my pile again cover it up and let it go for a couple of more days so then uh, i will check again if it's ready or not i'm also going to chop up some bigger pieces here there is not much bigger pieces left in here it's just like stems or branches which are hard to decompose so basically i'm going to chop it them up so they can be composted as well so i'm really happy with the progress up until now it's just been 10 days and it's been really fast it was a nice big pile like three feet wide three to four inches high and it's already being composted really well so here i am back after three days on sunday evening and i'm going to check on my compost pile it's looking really nice everything is composted really well you can see it's really broken down and i'm going to spread it all over the raised bed so i can plant my new crop i'm really happy with the process how it has turned out when i started it i wasn't really sure this was the first time i did this process i don't normally compost in my garden i just buy the compost from the shop but at this time of year uh, there is not much compost available at the shops if there is compost available it's really expensive and most of the shops do not have compost at this time of the year like in july august basically the gardening season is almost going to end and the shops are not stocking any more gardening products and accessories so i thought let's give it a try so i did my research like hot composting method cold composting method and um, how it happens what can be the uh, tips to kickstart the process so i'm really happy with how it has turned out i can like uh, do this process in a bucket as well but it's easy to do it on the top of raised bed because i can spread it here and i can plant my new crop and it's really easy process it's a little bit time consuming like you have to mix up everything after two days or so but it is like to speed up the process if you don't mix up uh, often enough then it will take more time to decompose so here you can see i have got some cabbages and cauliflowers going in my uh, seed starting tray here i started them from seeds last month and they are nice and ready to go in the raised bed so these are my fall crops like starting a fall garden and as i said unfortunately at this time of year you can't really find compost in shops at reasonable price so it's a good idea to start your own compost rejuvenate your soil and you can plant more crops and get most out of your growing space so these are my tips like uh, chopping the things down aerating the compost pile really well adding some sugar solution to kickstart the microbial process microbial action adding some microbes like using some soil in there and basically using the right ratio of your green material and brown material and making the right size of the pile and making it really nice and moist so all these things will help the process go really fast so hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye